right. Well, I'm going to give you a quick little walk around here because my first video, I didn't exactly, uh, you know, give a thorough walk around. Just a quick overview and like, hey, check it out. So here's going to be the fun part. In order to check out the engine, for anybody that's not familiar with the cab over, this is how we go out starting checked out. Well, now that you got the idea, we'll, we'll uh, come back once this uh, thing's tilted forward. Maybe that's it. there in order for me to get the cab to come up you got to essentially jack it up and it's basically pushed up by these two rams right here you got this one on this side and then you got one on the other side now that's one of the things I'm planning on uh, replacing at this point in time um, for easy access and whatnot to underneath as you can see right here once this whole cab over is pointed forward like this you have access to do anything you need to this engine and transmission you know whatever it may be you know, for general maintenance purposes oil changes and what have you now this bar right here is the uh, shift lever bar where up in here as you can see next to the upper left hand corner of the radiator there's that little ball socket joint right there which goes on top of this right here where you see the ball and then with that right up there is how you basically shift the truck it's a nine speed you know so basically the things so far is topped out according to my speedometer about 65 but I think I'm going about 75, so I think I need to replace that. But either way, as I was saying, you got these two rams right here. You got all the wiring and gauges and everything like that start to come up through in here and on the other side. It'll come down along the side of the, excuse me, the side of the uh, frame on up into the cab. And as we walk around here, you, know, you can see the complete truck from stem to stern completely open and available for anybody to see and it's a fairly simple truck on this side right here we got the exhaust manifold the turbo the air cleaner and then right here is where the heater core is and if you notice this is where my AC is supposed to be here yeah, because it originally had AC in this truck but unfortunately one of the previous owners decided to completely delete the AC system and I think the only thing I got is I think the evaporator in there by the way it's still all going to be replaced so due to the fact that it's going to cost me a whole lot of money I got no choice but to you know invest in like a uh, $500 RV AC type thing that goes on the roof. I, I think that would be the best bet for me, unless of course you know anybody can suggest something even better, or you know direct me to some place where I can get all the parts to put the actual AC back into the truck that's actually supposed to be there. But now that we've got this all exposed, so that way you can all see what it is. Let's move on to the interior.
All right, now I just wanted to just show you real quick this little piece right here. Now this, what this is, is this is the latch that holds the whole cab over body down. Because you got the pivot point right up front, you know, as you saw on how, when the whole cab went forward. And then when it comes back down, you want to make sure that this, on both sides, is locked right here. So that way, if anything happens, the whole thing's not going forward with you in it. Please excuse the mess, but essentially, as you can see right here, the uh, interior is a bit dated and a bit tore up. Now, with what's going on right now, is I already have a new mattress on order because the mattress that was in here initially when I showed you the uh, interior the first time has apparently been in here since the truck was brand new. So, yeah, that disgusting, nasty old thing had to go. But essentially, what's going to happen right now with what's in the works because like I said I'm gonna to have to get a rooftop AC so what I'm gonna do is from what I'm seeing right here there's absolutely no insulation beyond this right here and then not only that I've also noticed that there seems to be a bit of a water leak in here so I'm gonna to have to take all this out right in here and around in here find the leaks seal them up and then I'm gonna cut a big hole in the ceiling probably right about here in the middle and install a rooftop AC that you would normally find in an RV just due to the fact that it's a flat roof and very uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for I don't know I can't think of the right hand but uh, very doable either way now on this end right here as I have showed before we've got the dash which you see is all tore up on this side right here and then you got the speedo and all that wonderful stuff and if anybody knows where I can get myself a complete set of gauges that match you know and that basically covers everything right here you know that would be greatly appreciated and extremely helpful for me now essentially with what I'm going to do which has already started in the process of is that making you know some stainless steel attachments and whatnot for the dash so that way you know I can get this nice and shined up put that in there instead rather than having this raggedy freaking dash plate that was originally in there and also as you can see I gotta fix some of the wiring which is gonna be such a joy but yeah I've already got the pieces you know for the dash and whatnot to essentially you know mark out everything there and I'm gonna to do toggle switches I think toggle switches would look better on this but yeah and you know this is essentially the truck itself now while we're here you know I may as well as give it a good start it's been a couple of days let's see how she does Oh, and there we go. It's been about three or four days. This thing hasn't exactly been used all that often. But that's it. So Okay, there we go. So by all means give me a, you know some messages, some feedback, what you think I should go about doing with this thing. I've already said that you know I'm planning on painting this thing in the future. It's going to be blue with white flames, and I'm thinking about doing the uh, missing PLW flag on the driver's side here, and then the U.S. flag on the passenger side with the army uh, with with the army seal in the middle. Because you know personally, I was in the army, and you know I'm very pro army either way you look at it. But that's what my plans are so far for this thing, and then. 
you know, later on down the road as I make more money, maybe do a slight frame extension and you know, some other custom work because eventually I want to update the suspension on this, which I will show you momentarily here. Okay. All right, now as I was saying, as far as the suspension goes, as you can see, it still has the original spring suspension on the truck. So basically what I'm wanting to do is remove all this Lengthen the frame a little bit there to where you know it's probably going to be where the middle of the tandem is going to be sitting right where I'm standing right now. And then what I want to do from there is put on like a little miniature shag garage thing right here above the tanks where I can put a motorcycle. So that way when I'm parked somewhere, I don't necessarily need to move the truck and I can just put my motorcycle down on the ground and this is what I'm looking at right now. So in the meantime, it's just a matter of getting it cleaned up, prepped, and put to work. Because I didn't buy this just to restore it. I bought this to actually put it to work and make use out of it. So you'll see the due process in time as I get the money to do this. Considering I'm not going to make enough money off these videos to do it right now. <laughs> And then that's another thing I want to do is that when I go and extend the frame, I'm also planning on getting new axles because what I want to do is I want to put an airbag suspension underneath this. Because I've only looked, and the only thing I found aftermarket for this is like an airbag uh, suspension for the front, nothing for the back. And what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to update the whole truck where it's got air ride suspension in the back. And you know, new mag wheels, and I want to switch out from the drums to disc brake because the disc brake is a little bit more safer, cools off quicker, and you know, a little bit more reliable now that they've gotten that technology, you know, hammered out for the big trucks. So, like I said before earlier on in the video, give me some feedback, let me know what you guys think, you know, and if you can, you know, direct me to any parts for this would be a great help. Okay. That's it.